What I want to show real quickly today is Easy Snap Jack. This is a keystone jack that requires no punch down tool. Let me show you how it works. Of course, of course the first thing we need to do is prep the cable. So we score the jacket, slide it off, cut off that little stripping string, cut these a little shorter, tighten them out, separating the pairs. Now what we're gonna do is just like doing the easy RJ45 connector, if you're familiar with that, same prep. Take these, cut them nice and clean, and then I want to flip them because it's opposite for the jack. And the code, the A and B code, is on the edge of the bar here, what I call the shelf. So I flipped it. See my color code, and then I'm going to slide this on right there. And when I slide it on, I want to get these twists, which are right here, as close to the point of termination as I can. You'll notice the bar is slotted up here for the contacts. And we're just going to pull this up like that, right there, right tight. So let's take our cutter, which is real important, it's a flush cutter. It's our 10-531. Now it's nice and flush. And just slide that in. And then keep the pressure on. Notice how I'm pushing tight against the front because I don't want it to shift back and then have those contacts pick up some of the plastic. You want it to go through the slot. So keep that tight until you know you're there and then you can let go and finish snapping it like that and it's ready to put into the wall plate. It's as simple as that. And then your wall plate, you know, have a wall plate, always make sure of course that you have it positioned right Normally on the back, it shows you what's up, what's down. I'm going to put it there, and then I'm going to snap it, ready to go. If you have to take these out, go in here like that, put a little bit of pressure down here so when, when I release it, that I feel it, and just right there. But open up the jack, because you can reuse them. Let's say your cable's too long, you want to go, you know what, I'm going to take a foot off, make it shorter. Just take your screwdriver, put it in the little tab and sort of twist it, to pop, pop it open like that. Now you can start over. Just so you know, the little extra piece that comes in here is referred to as, we, I call it the sizer bar. And what it's for is for you to downsize your cable. This is a Cat 6. You can do Cat 5E. And this will allow you to for the support on the smaller cable. And you just drop it in. Now you'll notice that it's for smaller cables. 